Aquarius acrylic nailer tutorial as part of my zodiac sign series by hot pink zebra polish hi everyone so this year I have a series that is going to run throughout the entire year the last upload will be at the very end of December for this series it's a 12 part series one a month for the zodiac signs and so the first one is going to be Aquarius and they're all very very similar they're all very um, very simple with a just like a a sky, um, what's the word? Galaxy, that's it. A galaxy style background with just very basic white designs on the top of it for the various zodiac signs. So, like I said, one per month um, according to when the zodiac sign starts. So, for the first one, Aquarius, I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to do my galaxy style background and in all these videos, like I said, they're all very, very similar. So, this part here is actually, um, I do show you the background for each one, even though they are pretty much, pretty much the same, but they are slightly different. So you start out with a dark blue, add some black in it, and then add a little bit of a really sparkly teal is what I use. You can kind of switch it up and do different color combinations and then just kind of fill it in with more blue and more black at the tip. I did do different, um, like areas of different nails. So they are slightly different each one, but they're all kind of similar. And then I took a really light teal. This is like a almost white kind of off off white blue color and I just added like a little bit of a foggy stripe going right along the bottom of that just to kind of bring in some of that galaxy galaxy type stuff and then I'm going to be encasing the nail with clear acrylic all of the acrylic that was all that color acrylic I did very thin beads so that they blend really smoothly together which leaves you with a really thin nail so encasing it is crucial and after that is all encapsulated and all sealed up then you can go ahead and file it do be careful when you're filing so that you don't file into your glitter especially that teal one there was also a little bit of glitter in my dark blue so I'm just going to kind of be cautious of those two colors so that I don't file them and make them look a little bit scruffy so just file it into shape. I am using my coarser bit, my cone shaped bit, and then I'm going to, after that has you know, removed all the bulk, I'm going to take and just file over the entire surface with a much finer bit to refine the surface texture and just make it really velvety and easy to paint on. So now I'm going to be painting the water bearer symbol for Aquarius and I'm going to start out and I just kind of did an outline of this one. I did a slightly, you know, each, each uh, zodiac sign that I did was, you know, a little bit a little bit different each each one I kind of made executive decisions but for the first one um they all have like the same recipe to make them and so I'm just going to go through and just add the outline of like the vase and then add the handles on the sides and then just kind of touch up make sure that your lines are nice and bright I know that I've recently diluted my white paint for a different project so then I had to kind of go through and make sure that on this one that it was nice and opaque for it but then add just a zigzag like the water the water symbol going across the middle of your vase and then above that you're going to be painting your constellation so when you're doing this do it star by star so just add you know each one just kind of have a nice clear image that you're looking at to base it off of to try to get the spacing and the sizing correct which I know it's kind of like a crazy thing it's a lot to a lot to look at but try to get it as close to as close to correct as you can and after you have it you know, so you've got all those dots in there and then you get to play connect the dots, which I know is always my favorite, um, my favorite, what do you, when you're at a restaurant, like the menus, the kids menus, they have the crayons that you can do. That was all connect the dots was always my favorite thing when I was younger. So I was very happy to play connect the dots with all of these and just, you know, connect your dots with very, very thin lines, the thinner, the better, as long as they're visible. And then you're going to be painting the Zodiac symbol at the bottom. So it's a little wavy, little wavy water at the bottom just like that so the reason that i use just white paint for these designs on a couple of them i did add a couple details with blue but for the most part it's just white is so that it has that very dark background and these white images look uh, so clean and so vivid on top of it especially the constellation just looks really nice and then apply a layer of gel sealer and this one is done like i said this is a very quick relatively simple um simple series but just something that has been requested so many times that i do and i did want to keep it kind of like on the on the easier side just because it was requested so much i wanted to make sure that it was doable so i hope you guys like it and don't forget to share recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and keep checking back for all of the other zodiac signs throughout the year and i will see you in my next video bye